back here on the post game show. It is time for our coach's corner with head coach Steve Olson here after this game. Brought to you by Fine Line Tire and Hancock Fine Line Tire Express in Houghton, where we serve you, the guest and coach. You know, today was one of those days again where it seems like the beginning of the game is what sets you behind. Uh, I thought, you know, for about two and a half quarters of football, you guys really uh, competed well and, and maybe deserved to win more so. But the slow start, I think, probably today is again what kind of sets you behind. Well, you know, again, I, I say this every week, you know, you play in the GLIAC, you play against good football teams, you play a high-ranked team in Grand Valley State, you know, and so you got you want to try to get off to a fast start, but this is a good football team we played today, you know, and, um, you know, I thought our guys came out, I thought they competed very well, we didn't get everything going as explosively as we wanted to, but in some cases, it's just a matter of making a catch and making a play, you know, it's, you know to, get, to get things sparked and get it going a little bit, and I do think Jerry Smith ran the ball better in the second half, but I think a big part of that was that we blocked better for him, you know, and, uh, you know, and defensively, we had some a, a few struggles as well. You know, they ran an awful lot of fly sweep that, against us, and they haven't run quite as much of that, you know. And so uh, that was a little bit of a testament to them. So we had to, we were trying to make some adjustments and try to do some things to that to try to get them off schedule there. And then at the end of the game, they started to run the quarterback a little bit more as well. You know, so it, it's a good football team. And, you know, our kids played extremely hard. I'm very proud of them. So, when you talk about Sparks, you were looking for what it looked like in that first quarter, bringing Kyle Wood in for a couple of different packages just to see if you could make some plays happen. Right. You know, when you bring Kyle in, you know, Kyle has some skills. And, and uh, you know, if we had to go play with him, we feel like we could, you know, and, and that'd be fine. You know, we still have a lot of confidence in Will, and, and uh, Kyle came in because he was a little bit of his feet in the run game. And, and so we brought him in to, to give him a few different looks there and see how that went for us. Well, you mentioned the fly sweeps, too, that they were running today. A lot of those plays there, they were just able to get up to the edge there, and you weren't able to seal those. It was nice blocking on their part, but, um, you know, those were ones that, uh, that really hurt us all day. Well, the nature of, you know, the fly sweep, when, when you fit it well and when you play it well, you can get that moving off schedule, and then you get a good chance to get off the field. But, you know, when they get around the corner, if, they, if they're able to get around the corner, then all of a sudden they have some opportunities to make big plays or set themselves up into second and short situations. And, and those become difficult situations against a team that's multifaceted offensively. We were really impressed with the touchdown catch that Justin Davis made there. It looked like mostly a one-handed catch there, well-placed football by Will. Uh, but uh, just kind of walk us through that play a little bit there. Well, again, you know, it looked like Will checked the play, you know, to, to go to that. and. And uh, threw the ball out there, and it, and it was an outstanding one-handed catch by Justin Davis in the corner of the end zone. You know, so that was at that time that was, that was a really much-needed play. You know, and so at that time we went for two to try to make it a, a field goal situation to tie it. Um, you know, and we didn't get the two-point play, so we knew we had to try to then get a stop and, and try to go get on the score. And we had a chance on you know on that kickoff because. They were their outside kick team, and we pushed it into some open space, and we had a chance to recover that one. That would have been really, really fun to have a ball on the 25-yard line. Just need a field goal to tie it. Yeah, we're punching in for a win. So yeah, Michelak and Wilson were both right there. The ball was loose there on the ground, but uh, you kind of go back to that two-point conversion play a little bit there. Now the Grand Valley sideline was a little bit upset because the play clock got reset. Did you hear any explanation as to why that? reset there right before the snap or were you just going to kind of let it go and not worry about it? Probably it shouldn't have been reset. Um, you know, we were calling for two the whole the whole time, but our, you know, some of our kids ran on and off and, and that, that really realistically probably should have been a situation where, you know, uh, Grand Valley was right on that, I think, at the end of the day. Also, you had the uh, play there that I saw that when uh, they called it a fumble on the throw there by Will, went out of bounds there, but they backed it up a little bit further. I didn't think the ball went out quite that far. What was the explanation you got there? It was it was a fumble that went forward, so since it went fumbled, fumbled forward out of bounds, they brought the ball back to the spot of the fumble. Okay. Got that. That makes makes sense there. And uh, okay, well, we got one more road game coming up here this uh, next week. We'll be headed over to Northwood. What is uh, the focus going to be this week? Well, right now, I mean, obviously, we got to come back and have a good practice. We'll take a look at Northwood to see what it is that they do, and what we need to do against them, and what adjustments we need to make. And you know, from that standpoint, and and but the biggest thing is right now, this is going to be a hard loss. It's a long trip back, so we got to make sure that our kids get back and and we get them as healthy as we can and we have a good week of practice and that's that's the priority to make sure that we're taking care of business from because we'll get back in about four in the morning so we got to try to make sure that our sleep patterns are back uh, in line and, and then we have a good week of practice. 